<laughs> well, how, how nice was Saturday for you to have the performance that you did capped by that 55 yarder? Yeah, uh, it was good. No, I loved it. It was good to get out there and finally have a, like, have a game where it, have some decent punts and get it in there. So a lot, there's still a lot to work out on from that game. But um, no, it was good to have a few good punts in there and um, help out the team. How do you think you've kicked this year? Um, I could improve, I think so, yeah. Um, it's sort of landing in the right areas and that, but a lot to work on, I think, so. Um, it was just good to have a few good punts on the weekend and um, help with the win, so. What did that last punt do for your confidence, I mean, to get out there and, I mean, cl- I mean, it's a, yeah. that was a clutch situation and you absolutely nailed it. No, it was good. I was just, I was pumped that I was um, able to land inside the 10 and um, have Philly run, have him run down the, Devin Smith run down the outside and able to tackle him, so. Um, no, I loved it. It was really good to get out there and, and did, do that. Did you know, like, did you realize how big that pump was for yourself? Yeah, no, no I realized, yeah, how big it was going to be, so. Um, it was just good to be able to, like, I, I was aiming to land around the 8 and um, to, I think it landed around there. It was on the 7 or the 5 around there, so to be able to land it there was great. You're really good at pinning the opponents inside the 20. You haven't had many chances to, yeah. to boom it, but you've, you've, every time it seems like you had a chance to pin them inside the 20, you're able to do that. Is that did you know you had a knack for doing that? Yeah, uh, it was just, I think with the Australian rules football, the squad I played there, would, um, it was the end over the drop hunt type kick, so um, that's what I've sort of been able to bring to this, like bring with me over here, is doing that. And that, because the way we, like, the way you sort of say the quarterback would throw is the way we'd pass the ball back home. So, um, yeah, to be able to do the end over end, you sort of can be pretty accurate where you want that to, where that, where you want that to land. So. Hey Cameron, yeah. what's a road game like for a kid like you who's on sort of an extended road <laughs> trip to begin with? Oh no, it's great. I love it. You get to see different parts of America and that. So, um, like I've only been through what LA Airport and Chicago Airport and even Columbus. So to go for a road game is um, it's pretty good. You get to see different parts of America. So, uh, Coach Meyer knew as soon as the game was over on on Saturday that your hang time was 4.4. Is that something that you're measuring in game? Like, um, yeah, they're measuring in game. Yeah, it's, it's just I got to get it up a bit bit higher. So I think that's what the aim is. Who's standing there with a stopwatch measuring your hang time? Uh, I think yeah, there's a few. I think there's a few of them. They're sort of set up in the sand. <laughs> yeah, they, they're on top of it. So, but um, yeah, I think I've got to work on that. Get it a bit higher. So, yeah. Your, your Big Ten Special Teams Player of the Week. What uh, oh. what does that uh, oh. mean to you? Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, that's great. I didn't really know. I was playing. I was saying that now. Just told me to send. But uh, that's really good. Um, no, it's just it's good to be able to get out there and finally have a really good, have a good game. And um, but there's still plenty of stuff to work on from it. So. But that's really good. Hey, Kevin, what's, the number one, what's the number one misconception that you think Americans have about Aussies? Uh, what in? What about? Well, I mean, <laughs> in just general? Yeah, just in general. What do you, I mean, uh, you had people say to you, hey, do you guys uh, uh, fo- shrimp on a barbecue? Yeah, that one in Foster's. Oh, that's wrong. I don't think, that's not even brewed in Australia anymore. But no, that. And what was the number one misconception you had about Americans? Um, oh, I don't know. I knew a lot about it, a bit about it. It wasn't, it wasn't too bad. You weren't it's, expecting everybody to be cowboy. Uh, everyone was just. I think when I got into LA airport, I just couldn't believe how loud everyone was. I think that was just that was the biggest one. Is but, that still true? Uh, no, it's not too bad. Getting used to it, so. Cameron, <laughs> when we watch Aussie Rules football yep. late at night on television here. Uh, we see a unique sport. Yeah. What do you see about Aussie Rules that translates well to what you're trying to do now in terms of? executing different varieties of yep. punts. Are there things that translate well from that game that you've been able to draw upon here? Yep. Well, um, the program I did Pro Kick Australia back home with Nathan Chapman, he's working with that at the moment. We've got, say, 20 to 30 guys here in the here in the US, and he's working on that with guys coming out of professor, the professional league there. Um, with being able to use a drop punt and that type of kicks um, and being able to pin it where you want to pin it, um, there's more and more people now starting to think it like use this as a pathway. To come over, um, just because it's with the kick, like with punting in the way we, it's the technique's not too different. It's pretty similar. So, um, yeah, with a little bit of training, there's a lot more people back home that will be able to start. Yeah, could you just grab it with a backspin on the ball? Yeah, well, that's the way. We, yeah, it's the way. It's to say like. Uh, Say a uh, 20 30 yard pass, that's what we'd pin that like hit that hard with the, the way you end over and drop hunt top kick. So, um, that's a regular kick to be able to kick that up in the air and land it inside the 20. That's yeah, that's similar what we do back home in the sport. There was a punter this year who passed, I yeah, don't know who Jordan, it was. Yeah, um, you know? yeah, he went through the same program as me back home. Oh, okay, um, John, yeah, John Berry he passed with a punt. Yeah, he passed it as a punt. Um, he we always muck around with that. I kicked with him back home before I came here. Um, we all go back home in the spring and all work out together. So um, yeah, he was back there, and yeah, he's he's, he's doing really well this year. Is that a possibility here? Uh, well, no, I don't think I don't, I'm not too sure, but um, he, he was pretty he was pretty game to use it. Yeah. That's, but um, it worked well, so he got it.
you, you showed that video to Carrie, didn't you? Yeah, I show, I've been showing it around because um, no, it's good to have another Australian doing like he's doing really well. So, um, and yeah, I saw that. He, I loved it. It was pretty good. Can you how precise can you be with the distance and and the height of your punts? Is it can be like a like a golfer, who, a pro golfer who wants to hit a a wedge shot, you know, 95 versus 100, or, or how um, precise can you be? Oh, it's getting better. I was I was got to keep working. I think. Um, it's, I'm happy with it enough at the moment. Um, I can be pretty precise with the end over drop punts, but um, yeah, no, I just got to, I just got to keep working on it, trying it better and better as the year goes. I think. And how's the ball itself? I know it's the ball that Braxton throws. He likes to throw it, and the kickers hated it. Um, I've heard that. I've heard that from a few, but I know I, I like it. I think it's okay. um, you get the brand new ones, and they, if you get you get onto them, they go, they can go a long way. So um, yeah, I heard from a few of the few of the boys here that they don't really like them. Not, not the biggest fan of them, but. Um, you know, I don't have an issue, I like it quite a bit. Okay. Cameron, a lot of Americans really, really enjoy the Australian accent. <laughs> Has anybody asked you, whether it's a teammate or a student, to do something for them with your voice? Leave a voice message, a voicemail message. Any, honestly, has anybody asked you to, to do something because they love, just want to hear the, the tone of your voice? Uh, not really, no. The worst part though is um, you go out to restaurants or something, you order food. I think she, the, end, the waitress will end up asking about four to five times what you <laughs> ask. And yeah, in, the, in the end, you just get your friend to tell her, so I don't know. <laughs> but, um, it's loud back there. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I haven't been there yet, but I think um, Drew, Drew Basil, he, he keeps telling me we've got to go there, so <laughs> we'll be get, we'll, you'll take me there soon. Cameron, it looked like you had a little bit of a conversation with LeBron on the sidelines. What, what did you guys talk about it or did you say anything to him? It looked like at one point you guys were talking. Oh no, we just had a chat. It wasn't too much. Just had a chat on the sideline and then um, and then that many people came over. I couldn't kick into the net. So Was it a little unnerving having him standing right there no, while was, you're kicking into the net? No, no, it was just um, like back home you'd always watch him on TV and that and to be able to actually like meet him being there it was, um, it was a you know, great experience to so, um, be able to have that and like yeah, you would, a year, two years ago you were playing back home you never would have thought you'd met someone like that. So. Um, and yeah, it's just, I think, being here at Ohio State, you get those opportunities that I think nowhere else in the, pretty much in the world you get those opportunities to do. What was Kerry Combs like as a recruiter? He talked a little bit about recruiting you yeah. and <laughs> Urban Meyer said, go find a punter and find it now. What, yeah. what, was, what was Coach Combs like as a recruiter? Uh, he was great and I loved him. Um, yeah, the amount of energies he's, he's got and the, how much he, the passion he's got for Ohio State, um, I think that's what was the biggest draw card to come here. Was, um, he, yeah, he knows his stuff that well, but then the amount of passion he has for it here in the game, it's, um, it's amazing. It was, so. it was really like at the 11th hour. I mean, what was your plan B? Would you have gone to, I think you said you were going to go to Alabama as a gray yeah. shirt. Was that the plan? Um, oh, yeah, I was working out to go with them, yeah, there. But I was, yeah, with, um, when they sort of, when they said to come on official visit here, there was no, like, I was always going to come here, so. So when this opened up at Ohio State, were you like, Surprise! I mean, just just um, take us through that if you would. No, we'd spoken to him for a bit previously, and then um, they decided to go with Townsend, but then he sort of pulled out. So um, yeah, from there we sort of just got back in touch, and um, yeah, got back in touch and just showed the videos and that type of thing. And just went through the normal process. Uh, Nathan Chapman does with Pro Kick, and um, yeah, I didn't really have much of it to do with it. Uh, he more does a, he does a lot of that sort of thing. So so they were looking at you even before Townsend, then. So even like back um, in oh, there was there was chats. Yeah, there was a little few chats, but um, yeah, it was just yeah. Okay. So when, I mean, when they brought you here, that's when you you pretty much knew that this is, you know, this is serious now. Yeah, when I, yeah once yeah they said come on official visitors, yeah, sort of knew it was pretty serious. So. Did they offer you on the spot then when you came here? When they actually when did you know they were offering you a scholarship? Uh, yeah, at the at the end of the visit, so yeah, no, it was good. It was good to see you around here and um, all that type of thing. So yeah. how's the adjustment just in life been aside from football? Um, Oh, it's, been, it's not too bad. There hasn't been too much, too much differences. Like at first, it was just like you just getting used to being here and that type of thing. But um, nah, I've had really no issues. It's just been great. Like the guys are amazing, and like Drew, Bryce, and um, George, and Kyle, and those guys in the special teams um, get along great with them. So, um, nah, they, yeah, it's not too bad. Your the time difference, the time difference back home. Just talk about your parents being able to watch your game, especially an eight o'clock yeah, game here. Yeah, that was perfect. So well, we had an eight o'clock game. So that was our Sunday morning at 10 a.m. So. Um, yeah, they were able to get up, so it saved them. Like I think a couple of the other games at 12 o'clock, they were up at two in the morning. So it's about 14 hours. I think it's going about 15 soon. But um, yeah, they were up at two in the morning. It was good to be able to get them up at 10 a.m. <laughs> save them, them up to stay up from two till five. So yeah. Your grandparents were here stateside to watch a game, were they not? Yeah, they were here for the first game. It was their 50th wedding, wedding anniversary. So um, they decided to come over. So um, it was great to have me for the first game, and they loved it. They thought it was a yeah, great experience. They'd never really seen anything like it before. So yeah, that no, was really good. Great. Cameron, thank you very Thanks, much. Cameron. Thank you.